assume i give you a thousand rupees and i tell you you must return this back with an interest of 10% at the end of this month how much will i get in return this is a straight forward simple interest question we all have solved many times and over in our school days the answer is going to be 1000 plus 10% of it which is 100 so 1100 that's the money you'll be giving me right what if i say for 2 months you compute the interest and give me at the end of 2 months if it's going to be 100 rupees per month 10% rate for 2 months it will be 100 plus 100 200 so 1200 is what you will be giving me at the end of 2 months if it's for 2 months duration so but then the next step to complicate this very easy question is to bring in the notion of compound interest sounds complicated but it's a very easy concept the concept goes like this 1000 rupees in the beginning at the end of one month you will give me the interest which is uh, 10% of it which is 1100 but i say oh, don't worry keep this 1100 with you you give me next to next month rather next month from now with 10% interest on 1100 now what is that 1100 times 10% which is 0.1 that gives me 1.21 right so which is which is basically uh, 1210 1210 rupees at the end of 2 months you see it it is interesting to note that a simple interest uh, doesn't give you a lot of as much money as compound interest so simple interest gave you 1200 but compound interest is giving you 1210 10 rupees more not not a whole lot but but still better than simple interest now look at this what if i asked you to compound this for 3 months what is the formula we all know there is a complicated formula for uh, compound interest um, so i'll tell you the version that my teacher taught me <laughs> the version goes like this it is p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of t plug in t plug in r plug in p my friends you will get the answer p for principal r for interest t for time Now that's very complicated but let's look at it in the language of recurrence relations what are we saying here all that we are saying is a2 at the end of 2 months will be whatever it is at the end of 1 month times 1.1 why 1.1 that's because it is basically a1 times 1 plus 0.1 0.1 represents 10% of a1 and 1 represents simply a1 so at the end of 2 months which is a2 you will be giving whatever you had at the end of 1 month which is a1 times 1.1 but what is a1 here a1 is at the end of one month you got to give me what you took from me which is the principal money let us call that a0 which is 1000 by the way times 1.1 that is a1 so a1 is 1000 times 1.1 calling 1000 as let's say a0 a1 will be a0 times 1.1 and a2 becomes a1 times 1.1 and a3 becomes a2 times 1.1 if you plug in and note you will observe that a3 is indeed 1.1 times a2 but in place of a2 you can remove and then write 1.1 times a1 in place of a1 you can write again 1.1 times a not so you get 1.1 cube times a not so a3 is 1.1 cube times a not which is 1000 so a3 is 1.1 cube times 1000 which is 1331 at the end of 3 months so if you are asked to calculate at the end of 12 months what will be the answer the recurrence relation here is in general an is equal to 1.1 times an minus 1 with this being the recurrence relation please note look at the definition of recurrence relation it says you express the 
uh, eighth term by the previous terms. That is precisely what's happening here. A n is expressed as a n minus 1 times something, basically the previous terms. Correct? So a n equals 1.1 times a n minus 1 is the recurrence relation. And the question is, at the end of 12 months, which is a 12, what will be your returns? Given that A0 is 1000, please note that is very important. That's called the initial condition. Correct? A0 is 1000. What is A12? If An is 1.1 times A to the N minus 1, we know that An is simply 1.1 to the power of 12 times 1000. We saw that just now, which is actually equal to 3138 rupees 42 paise let's say rounded off to 3138 3138 rupees is what you will be getting at the end of one year if you keep compounding it every month by 10 percent it's a lot more than thrice the money that you invested in correct so don't worry much about compound interest and your school days where you used to solve a lot of problems, the idea here is to get motivated to think on the lines of recurrence relation.